Today I'm making a video on how to make a hot rod mechanical lift pump for your 12 valve Cummins. I've already installed mine on my truck. You can build these yourself for about $70 to $80. Installed. Now let's go on the bench. Here we have the factory lift pump. Basically, you unscrew this main part where the main feed goes in. This is coming from your pre-filter. You unscrew that and you're gonna pull out all these springs. Or in the case of the new one, you have to use the new pump because these old ones have an overflow on them. And you can't use that, so you gotta get a new one. They're about 60 bucks for a replacement one and they, they're just as good. You remove this spring. You know, nothing else is in the bottom. Nothing else is going to fall out on you. And you get a Comp Cams 973-1 valve spring. Install it. Say this is your valve spring. Install it, which is much firmer. Screw this back in. You get the gist of that. Screw that back in. You're going to have a lot more pressure out of your pump. Um, but the other thing you have to do, and a lot of people forget, is you either got to get a Torque Tech overflow valve or modify your own overflow valve. Which, there's the wrench. This is two piece. You unscrew that, loosen, take that loose. Remove that. Take a screwdriver. In there is a spring. Not hard to do through the camera. Just pull this spring out. And you either stretch that spring and reinstall it, or take a quick tight ball peen pen and install that spring out of that pen into there. Reinstall this, and now you're good for a good 40 pounds of pressure. So over time, those springs either stretch or break and you're not gonna make any more lift pump pressure. This is a proven dyno thing. Power driven diesel, I think, says it supports 600. It's a good modification for your truck on a budget.